Hello and welcome back to Feel Good Friday. I am your host, Love Tech Sarah, and this is presented to you by Entertainment Scoop. Today, we are talking about something that every single person struggles with, and even I, myself, was struggling with at the beginning of this week, and that is getting into a slump, feeling like you're not really being productive, you're not really feeling your best, most positive self. And today, we are gonna talk about how you get out of that, how you get out of the slump. I broke it down into three easy ways to get out of that slump, three things that you can do day in, day out to not just get out of a slump, but also to prevent one, to make sure that you're on the right path and you're doing the right things and you're feeling good. Number one, engage in a calming activity. So this is anything that calms the nervous system. It clears your head, it clears your brain, it clears the things that you, you know, you're thinking uh, similar to like a record player where it's over and over and over again. You need things that calm the body and calm the mind. These are things like meditation. These are things like taking a long walk. These are things like stretching and reconnecting with yourself. And this will help you move into the next stage, which is the reflective stage. This is where you do a reflecting activity, something like journaling, something like really thinking, giving yourself clear time and space to think through whatever's going on in your life and seeing what comes up. Why are you in this slum? Why is this coming up for you? What is a trigger? What is the outcome? What do you want? What is good? What is bad? Asking yourself all of those questions. I personally like in this situation to talk it out with somebody that I really care about, somebody that I really trust, and somebody that knows me really, really well, where we're able to kind of get into the nitty gritty and they help me they, they almost help me figure out my words before I figure them out. I figure them out as I'm saying it. So whatever works for you that really allows you to reflect on what's been going good, what's been going well, what hasn't been going up to par, what you wanna change, what's coming up for you, that's where you wanna go. You wanna reflect, you wanna look inward, whether that is alone with somebody else, whether that's through meditation or journaling, however you wanna do that is completely fine. And that gears into the next stage, which is the activation. You have to have an, an activity that activates. This is where you wanna do something that is challenging. It's hard. It's something that's on your to-do list. You wanna cross something off. You wanna complete something. You want to begin with that cycle of feeling good about yourself. Doing good, feeling good, doing good, feeling good. You wanna begin that cycle with an activity. And this can be something that's a workout, this can be something that's physically challenging, this can be something that's mentally challenging, but it needs to be something that is taxing for the mind, for the body, for something. You need to feel good. What is something that's gonna make you feel good if you complete it? That's where you need to go for this. And of course, I know, I, it, I told you it was just three, but I do wanna do a bonus one as well, and that is the, the health side of things. So anytime I feel myself getting into a slump, I say, Okay, how have I been eating? What are the habits I've been partaking in? Where am I on my routines? What is going good? What is going bad? So for me, I limit my caffeine intake. I know nobody wants to hear that, but I personally do it. If it works for you, go for it. If you've never done it, at least try it. It's worth a shot. But that's what I do for me. So I limit my caffeine. I add more adaptogens to my diet, things like ashwagandha, um, I add more, more vitamins, more whole foods, more things that I know that make me feel good. Make sure I'm drinking water. Just understand the importance that your physical health plays so much of an impact on your mental health as well. And when you're feeling like you're in a slum or you're getting towards a slum or you're just trying to maintain really healthy, optimistic, positive levels of life, really invest in your health. It's always worth it. You'll always see a result at some point. So there it is. I hope that you guys enjoy. These are the three things, the three stages, the three activities that I do when I'm feeling like I'm falling into a slump. I hope these helped you. And if they help you, I hope you share it with someone else that you think may benefit. That is gonna be it for this segment of Feel Good Friday. It's presented to you by Entertainment Scoop and I am your host, Love Tech Sarah. I'll see you in the next one.